Hi, and welcome to Happy Fisherman Adventures! I hope, I dream, I wish To catch a big fish And I do it when I can I'm a happy fisherman And I do it when I can I'm a happy fisherman All right, today in the studio we have Alex from Geelong Marine World. He works as a mechanic and for the first time he went with the Happy Fisherman crew, Tibby and Will, fishing. Yeah, that's right. Went um, fishing for the first time with Tibby and Will, of course. Um, yeah, had a pretty good experience, I must say. Yeah, yeah. The weather was good? Weather was perfect, actually. Yeah, no, it was actually pretty nice. As soon as the sun came out, you know, it was, it was really warm. Um, and the winds, yeah, the winds were perfect. Nice and calm, nice and flat out there. Very, very good, yeah. The target fish was? Target fish was snapper, but unfortunately, yeah, we couldn't we couldn't find any. So, um, yeah, we moved on and we, we found some squid. Um, and then from there, yeah, other species. Beautiful. Let's watch the first video. It's six o'clock Sunday morning and we left Point Cook and gone straight to the Verabi ramp. This time we are on Will's stubby craft and we got with us young Alex who actually works with me at Geelong Marine World. To my surprise, the ramp was not that busy as I expected. We launched in no time and slowly we were on our way. Today's mission was to try snapper at Port Allington Old Channel. The weather was just magnificent and we got there pretty quick. We set up, but nothing. Lots of red slimy grass all over our bites. So that was the sign for me to move. This time we went shallow off Point Richard's port ramp and the target was squid. We set up all the cameras and the game was on. No long and Alex was on one. This time took our all-time favorite Yamashita solid black jig in 3-0. They got a squid. Oh, yeah, yeah. And a nice one too. Since the grass patches here are quite small, we had to make few moves. Then I was on another one, this time Shimano Banana Jig. As I just mentioned before, the jigs that we use here are 3.0. In the meantime, Will was trying all other colors, just to see what else would work.
All right, we saw that you guys didn't have really much luck catching Snapper, but uh, you did come across a lot of squid. So can you just tell us what uh, jigs you were using? Yeah, for sure. Um, so I was using the solid black jig, which was really successful. Um, that seemed to be the preferred jig of the day. <laughs> uh, Tibby was using the banana colored jig, and I think Will was possibly using all sorts of jigs. He was just trying his hardest, trying to find the right color. So yeah. Let's watch the next video. On every drift, we manage couple squid. Not a lot, but bit by bit, and we end up with quite few. The banana and the flesh by Shimano were quite good but the solid black just worked amazing. We all managed quite few squid, but landing was quite tricky as Will did not have his small net on board. Hey! Oh yeah! Another one bought the dust. Remember, when you bring one in, move away so you can bring the squid close to the boat, otherwise the guy with the net has to stretch his arms a bit. At one stage, we could not really tell which color worked the best. <laughs> Come on. Don't take that at the net like Yeah, that. I know. Got him? We got him, man. <laughs> As I mentioned before, we had to move quite a few times. I think Will does it intentionally and he points it at me. Then I decided to do something different. I grabbed a few divers that I got from Mick at hooked on bite and tackle and I wanted to throw them at slow speed in Geelong channel. I done a leader, I done the loop knot and we were slowly getting ready to move. These divers are called Rapala Deep Tile Dancer. So why not give them a go? And then, as you're gonna see, the last squid we netted made some serious mess. <laughs> 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 
lucky the deck wash was invented and we did clean it straight away. Okay, in the next video you're going to see the guys doing something completely different. They actually ended up trolling for snapper using deep divers. Yeah, that's right. We um, Tibby thought we should try something different and see what we could do with some deep divers in the channel. And yeah, troll. Troll like you're trolling for tuna, really. So, yeah. You didn't end up catching any, but no. you managed to see some bait fish, I believe. Yeah, there was big on the sand. The sand was picking up big clumps of bait fish, so we're thinking, oh, maybe this will be very successful, and maybe we'll get a snapper for the first time. Or maybe not for the first time, but like we're doing it Tibby's way. <laughs> <laughs> After that, you ended up moving closer to Port Arlington in the shallow, uh, trying for King George biting. How did you go there? Unsuccessful, unsuccessful again, just like the snapper was. Um, but yeah. You can't always have what you want. <laughs> well, you didn't manage to catch any King George whiting, but you did catch other species, so... Yeah, we, we caught some yuccas, lots of yucca, and some slimy mackerel as well, so it wasn't all bad. I think you ended up being really busy because I watched a little bit of the footage. Yeah, no, I was getting a sore arm from reeling them in, so <laughs> yeah, no, there's plenty of fish. Just you had plenty of fish. At times I saw you had two or three at the same time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, at one point I was like, oh, it's a little bit heavy, a little bit heavy. And I'm like, oh, I think I've got one or two or maybe another species. And I end up pulling up three of the um, yuccas. Sounds yeah. exciting. <laughs> Let's watch the next video. Well, we are on the way back to the channel. Trying something different, it's always on my books. This time we're gonna troll Rapala divers and try to get some snapper in the channel. The sounder did show some bite fish, but that was it. Then we anchored on the edge of the channel, but all we got here was flatheads. There was no sign of snapper at all, only undersized flatheads, so this time we made a decision to go back to Port Arlington and try making George Whiting mark. As we got there, I set up my cameras and there was yuccas everywhere. So in no time Alex and Will started having fun with them while I was persistent and trying hard to catch a King George Whiting. <laughs> At this time we did not care if we're gonna catch King George Whiting or not. 
because the boys had quite a lot of fun with yuccas. Actually, we were so busy that we forgot to even reload the King George boiling rods. In the next video, the boys were catching yakka and apparently it went crazy. Yeah, it was like a feeding frenzy down there. As soon as you put, drop your hook down, within 10 seconds you'd just be pulling up a yakka and yeah, I couldn't stop it. Was it just yakka? Not just yakka, actually slimy mackerel was on the bite as well. So yeah, put up a little bit of different fight, which was something interesting. So nah, exciting. Well, I wasn't there, but uh, I did see some footage of Tibi going live on Facebook. So... That's right, yeah, Tibby went live on Facebook and you could just see, you know, he put the camera around, you could just see where we were and, you know, he, that we weren't lying where we were and um, yeah, I think it was about 6.4 metres of water that we are catching him in, so yeah. Let's watch the next video. The trick with the Akas was small pieces of squid or small pieces of pilchard. Alex had hookum sabiki rigs with two baited hooks while Will had really stiganoster rig and the trick was to drop it down the bottom, lift it about half a meter and that's where the yakas will be. Underneath the boat there was plenty of them, but in the meantime we managed to get a slimy mackerel. The rig and the bite for slimy mackerel, it's exactly the same. The only thing I suggest, lift it a little bit higher. So have the hooks just about a meter, maybe two meters off the bottom. So just a quick refreshing. So King George Whiting, right on the bottom. Then if you target yakas, just half a meter off the bottom. But if you want slimy mackerel, lift it up higher, like even two meters off the bottom. They're more like a mid-water fish. Both yakas and slimy mackerel are actually quite good to eat. Um, I'm not a big fan of them because of the bones and um, actually the the slimy mackerel is a blue fish, so it's got a bit of a fishy smell. But yeah, lots of our friends love them. But as per bite, they dynamite for gummy, for snapper, you name it. As you can see, Alex and Will had a ball catching this little fish. We'll caught the big barrel, but still it's lots of fun just catching these little buggers. Then we went live on Facebook showing people where we catch them and the way we catch them. Hold him, hold him, I'm gonna go live in, on our Facebook. Look at the size of slimy mackerel at the moment. Crazy. And we got yuccas. First we pegged out on squid. Oh yo yo, that's... Right, we can still see him. I can see him through here. We got yuccas and that, but some slimy mackerel just turned up. Again, we're just in front of Port Arlington. That is crazy and the size is unbelievable. Alex is going to show you how, how quick we get them too. <laughs> Already? Oh, he just dropped it off and 
And then Alex on the other one, okay? So you got so you Yaka. And Alex got Yaka as well. And nice is Yaka too. Okay. Uh, dip, dip, dip. 6.3 meters, 6.4, there you go. Okay, so he drops it. Let's have a look how long it's gonna take you this time. Yep, that's right already. He just dropped it. Is that top water? No. That's could be slimy. That is a slimy. That is you see how he does circles like tuna? Lift, 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 lift. That's slimy mackerel. And they good size too. They actually good size. Look at that. Bring him up. That's a nice size. And he's a yucca on the other side. Well, Guys, what can I say? You'll see this episode next week. Enjoy! All right, what was the best part of this fishing trip? There was a lot of good parts to that fishing trip, um, but the best part was probably getting home, cleaning the fish, and eating it fresh on the fry pan. It was doesn't get any better than that. Let's watch the next video. I basically put my mouth in the back, and there's a spine to it. Yep. Yep. So I would go to Spain, push it around this way. Yep. And then just go to that place. Oh, easy. Well guys, that was Alex's experience with Happy Fisherman, so yeah, we didn't catch any snapper, we got heaps of bite for snapper, so we're ready for the next session. But um, just a quick announcement, this Sunday, which is the 6th of November, the end of big competition at Leopold, we're going to be the guest speaker there, we're going to entertain with you guys, we're going to actually do a nice speech about snapper, King George Whiting and the area around, so see you there. And again, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and thank you for watching. We we'll see you next time. I hope, I dream, I wish to catch a big fish. And I do it when I can. I'm a happy fisherman. And I do it.